Tiffany Stratton is fast becoming one of the biggest rising stars in WWE. With her ever-growing popularity and bundles of talent, it is only a matter of time before Miss Money in the Bank is a world champion in WWE. But what is going on guys? It is Catch back with another video on the channel. If you don't know, I make weekly wrestling content on this channel, so if you don't mind, please give it a like and a subscribe, and let's get straight into it. As Miss Money in the Bank, a right she earned after winning the contract against five other superstars at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, Tiffany Stratton has been a bit of a bit part player in the ongoing feud between Nia Jax Bailey and to a lesser extent, Mei Chin over the SmackDown Women's World Championship, now known as the WWE Women's Championship, of course. Now, Nia Jax is obviously Tiffany's protector, but Tiffany is playing a smart role in the background, hiding behind Nia when she needs protection, but easily capable of cashing in on Nia Jax when the time suits it. She's already teased it a couple of times in at SummerSlam, which ironically helped Nia Jax to win the WWE Women's Championship of then champion Bailey, putting Tiffany Stratton squarely in the target of Bailey. However, that feud is still ongoing with Bailey winning the most recent match on the latest episode of SmackDown. But I still think there is more to the feud between Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. There's only so long that Tiffany and Nia will get along. And on the most recent episode of SmackDown, I should say, Nia Jax is sort of caught clocking on to the fact that Tiffany might not be having her best interests at heart and this was evident in the match with Nia distracting the referee which and then helped Bailey pin Tiffany Stratton when she was supposed to be helping Tiffany herself but uh, Nia is playing a smart role but I think Tiffany should now step out of Nia Jax's shadow and cash in on her when the time is right not sure anytime soon will be the right opportunity for her maybe at survivor series would probably be a better opportunity but there is ample time for tiffany stratton to cash in the money in the bank briefcase she could even wait to wrestlemania 40 one to cash in that briefcase depending on who the champion is we do not know it could be nia jack still or it could be someone completely different but i do think that tiffany should probably cash in on nia jacks at some point as it will definitely further that story there the craziest part about tiffany stratton is she's still only 25 years old and has already achieved so much within the wwe while she was in nxt she was a former nxt women's championship and she also has a background in trampoline gymnastics which makes her really good as an athlete within the wwe because that's part and parcel of being a WWE wrestler is you've got to be good at the athletic side of things but you also got to know how to tell a good story and in Tiffany Stratton's case she is doing a killer job on both of those things and that's what I mean by the fact she's only 25 years old she's already achieved so much at this point in time that all she's really missing is of course a women's world championship to go with the accomplishments he's already had the only other people i could really think that come close to this at least within the women's division is maybe someone along the lines of like maybe leader for example trish stratus is probably another one and then more more recently i guess you could say Paige, a former divas champion and of course aj lee all very young when they achieved greatness within the wwe or you know in their cases world titles within the wwe women's division and if you look at it you know from a men's side of course course Randy Orton is the example you go to straight away but Tiffany Stratton has a long career ahead of her hopefully she can keep you know injury free and I'm sure she'll have a perfect run well not so much a perfect run but a very lengthy run in the future Another intriguing fact about Tiffany Stratton being on the SmackDown roster as well at this point in time is there's so many women she could feud with over the next few months if they don't go the direction of her feuding with Nia Jax over the title. Ultimately, I think that's the direction they're going to go, having a feud with Nia Jax over that, uh, the WWE Women's Championship. But in the interim, if they need sort of a challenger for Tiffany Stratton, like they could go down the Bailey route, which they've done the last couple of weeks on SmackDown, including the most recent episode, of course. They could also go down the likes of Mei Chin or Mia Yim. Chelsea Green would be a, a fascinating matchup. I think those two would sort of gel pretty well in the ring. Their characters are both very similar, so maybe not. Maybe they'd keep them away a little bit at this point in time. Bianca Belair, I think that'd be a very athletic match between the two. Um, and I'd personally like to see a heel Bianca Belair go up against the face or a good girl Tiffany Stratton, if you will. Uh, and then the other feud I'd be interested in seeing for Tiffany Stratton is, of course, one with Mami or Rhea Ripley. So, you know, there's a lot of potential feuds uh, on the SmackDown roster and well, Rhea Ripley's on Raw but a lot of potential feuds for Tiffany Stratton to go through so it's just a, a matter of time to see where the booking decisions go for Tiffany Stratton but she has got a lot of really really good feuds uh, along the way I'm sure of that and also the fact is that because she's so young she's got a, a 
potential Hall of Fame career on the cards. Like she's definitely started extremely well and she clearly knows what she's doing in the ring and from a storytelling perspective as well. So kudos to Triple H and the creative team for helping Tiffany Stratton achieve those goals so early on in, in her young career. But if she keeps going the right, you know, the rate she's going, she could easily have a career that rivals the likes of Trish Stratus and Lita as you know two examples of women who have sort of been like the trailblazers in the WWE women in uh, wrestling industry at this point in time for WWE. So, you know, plenty on the horizon for Tiffany Stratton and a lot of potential for her still to achieve. But that has been the end of this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. What do you think of Tiffany Stratton so far and do you want to see more of her within the WWE? I certainly do and can't wait to see what her next sort of storyline is. Chuck a like and a subscribe on it and uh, yeah, I'll see you with another video very, very soon. Have a good one, guys.